Hi, David here of Lancaster Automar A to B, and here we've got a 2016 16 plate Fiat 500L. It's the 1.6 Multi Jet Lounge, and it's very well specced, I've got to point out. It's also the MPW model, as you can tell by the badges just here. In this video, I'll just be doing a quick walk around the condition of the vehicle and showing you some of the features it has. So, as usual, we'll start the driver's side rear wheel and we'll work our way around from there. So, you can see the alloys are in really good condition there. All down the side, on the driver's side, we've got no issues with the bodywork. Then onto our driver's side front alloy, a little tiny bit of kerbing just down there. But again, pretty good overall considering that it's now six years old. As we move around the front, left hand side's all fairly clear. We've got nothing much going on around the front actually. It's a bit of a light scuff there. It's not actually dented the panel whatsoever. And as you can see, water's actually covering it a little bit, so it may polish out. Onto our passenger side, front alloy. Again, very minor amount of kerbing, just a couple of spokes. Otherwise, pretty good overall. And then again, all down the side, body works very nice and tidy. And we'll just get into that last alloy. Usually the best one on any car, this one, so there's no wear or tear on that at all. And then onto the rear. So you do get four parking sensors along the rear bumper. And we'll just pop the boot open while we're there. So there's a button on the key to just unlock the boot. There we go, we heard it go. So inside, you will notice it is the seven-seater. So I'll show you how this works. So just before we get there first, if you're wondering where your spare wheel is, it's actually underneath the car, just under there, and it is a space saver. So in the rear, you've got a couple of storage areas either side. And then you've got these long tabs, so I'll just put one up for now. So you can see there, just locks into place. And plenty of room there. In fact, actually, we will put both up just because you've also got a little tool pouch there where it says this side up. And then, in order to reverse this, you literally just lift it up, move that little bit out the bottom, angle it in, and then you've got these little rubber tabs just pop in there, just keep the boot floor nice and flat. So, very easy, very practical. So, moving on, we'll take a look at the rear now. So, back seats, just to let you know as well. They are getting wet back these seats it's just we don't have the valeters in on a saturday and sunday but as far as the features in the back go the bench actually can slide on its own so there's a little handle underneath and you can slide them all back so you can have a 60 percent split further back depending on who you've got in the very rear you've also got armrest in the middle there you've got a little basket behind each seat and you've got a little tray with a hook at the top there and before I forget as well, you do have a panoramic roof, so I'll show you from the back, because it'll be a bit harder to see from the front, but it really does go quite far back, that one, and there is a cover that extends all the way out as well. So from there, we'll just jump into the front. So you do have electric windows all around in here. You do have electrical adjustment on the wing mirrors too. As you jump in, all Fiat wheels are fairly nice and straightforward, so you've got some audio controls over on the right, and you've got your phone controls over on the left. Also do have two keys, so that's the first one. There's the second one, so we'll just start the engine up. There we go, straight into life, no problems whatsoever. And the mileage there, 66,235. So onto the features inside then. So you do have a trip computer at the end over there. You've also got intermittent wipers, so you do have a little bit where you can scroll to uh, adjust that one. Over on the left-hand side, you've got automatic lights. You've also got cruise control, which is on the stalk just down there. Then when we get to the centre, Radio is nice and straightforward again. So it is touchscreen, so you can hit stuff if you want like that. Or you do have solid buttons as well, so nice and straightforward. So you've got radio there. You can flip through between FM and AM. Then got media, so it only shows up when something's detected. So I'll show you how to connect things up in a second, but you do get Bluetooth as well. We've then got phone, so obviously Bluetooth connectivity for that. And if you go on to more, you get the outside temperature, clock, trip computer, and your eco drive menu as well. So just underneath here, You've got a few little shortcut buttons again. So lock and unlock, auto stop start. You've got a back and a set button. I'm guessing that's for your trip computer controls. Then got fog lights there, or dip beam I should say. And then you've got your uh, city steering, which is a very interesting feature, which lightens up the, uh, the steering feel very dramatically. So moving down, this is where you can connect your devices up. So you've got your aux in and your USB. You've then got your dual zone climate control there. So really straightforward. If you do want to do it manually, you can just adjust temperatures each side and then you've got your fan speed in the middle there. So again, very straightforward. Just moving down from there, you've got two cup holders at the front with a 12 volt power outlet. You've got a six speed manual gearbox. Behind there, you've got your, I believe it's your traction control in this one. 
it's got the name it and fiat products and then just coming back you've got this unusual handbrake and you've got another cup holder there and your controls for the roof so you can actually open some roof there but we'll leave that alone with the weather but you've also got this one here which is the blind i told you about so you just flick it forward closes all up and then last little thing to cover is good box situation very quirky indeed you've got a little shelf here which is slightly angled downwards so when you're accelerating nothing's going to come out you've then got this little mini upper glove box there and then down here you've got your standard typical glove box with all your service history and book pack in there so if there is anything i've not covered in this video any extra info you'd like don't hesitate to get in contact with us and we'll see what we can do to help otherwise thanks for watching take care bye